Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to turn three of Mage Knight using Tuff's excellent, highly scripted Mage Knight mod on the workshop for TTS. Now, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I kind of forgot to uh, turn off all the controls, like so, just to clean the screen up a little. Now, there were some interesting things. These are all draggable, apparently, so we can get these kind of out of the way. It'd be nice if we could actually, ooh, no, I want to leave that in there. How do we drag this thing? Oh, well, this one, this one doesn't, uh, yes, it does. This one doesn't seem to drag. Okay, so that one can't drag, but, you know, this thing can here. Whatever. The point is, let's get into this. So... Couple of things. One, during the editing, I noticed I made a big screw up with this turn. I wanted to heal, but we actually have a saved die from Mana Steel. So we did have a green die. So we are going to rejuvenate using this die. This is from the end of the last turn. So this is heal two, draw two cards, gain a green mana crystal. So we gain a green mana crystal and we heal two. I'll just stick these down here to be cleaned up next time. And we draw two cards. So I've got to do this manually because this this draw button thing is for a different player. And one, two, three, four, five. We are actually standing on a location here. So we actually get a six draw as well. Oh, this thing here. Goes there, and this comes into the thing, and we just roll it. Black, awesome. <laughs> also, I forgot to actually end this turn, this turn, so we just go rewards claimed, and now we are ready to go with the witch's turn. So, she is in a really bad position. We've got two choices. It's five points to open up here. So we need three to get in there, another two to open there. So that's five points. But for five points, we almost get to here. So that's two, four, six. You know what I mean? And with her taking over this location, it's probably going to force Norwez to explore for us. So as much as it's actually a cool idea to go here get the get the white crystal because remember with her white crystal uh if you check it out if we look at our used deed deck we have got six deeds left if we look at our used deed deck uh how do we get rid of this thing maybe that's better down there oh it can only drag down to that far whatever the point is if you look at our deed deck we still have not got her mana pool card, which is like a fantastic version of Mana Pool. It's the best version of it in the game. So let's camera control things in the way too. What I'm trying to get at is going here is actually a good idea because we get a white crystal and the Mana Pool is coming. And if we did look at this, we actually have not got any of the other swiftness. So we will have six range attack plus another two. So we have eight range attacks sitting in this deck. You know what I mean? So now of course range attack won't help us with this guy because it's double sieged. But still, it's a pretty awesome, you know what? I think I am gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move here against my better judgment. I really should be moving here, but I'm gonna move here. So what do we need? We need five movements. What have we got here? Nothing. We've got a blue. So that's four. Well, I guess I have to do four, five, six. Four, five, six move. We go three, and then we explore for two. Bam! Oh, look at this. Bloody deserts. They're five to move into, and I think we've just used all our we might have used all our movement points. Oh, that is, ugh, that is terrible. So there is a village here, which means we need to place a token. 
Now you think you're dragging from here, but you're actually dragging from these little icons he's made here, which are very cool. I might steal them from my own mod. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to steal that and place it here. Bam. Okay, so that is basically it. We've ended our turn. And we need a white crystal. Looks like he rolled a red. It'd actually be nice if this mod, because it's so scripted, because you, you're looking at the mirrored source, you don't really get to see it roll, and it reorders it. So it's hard to remember what was rolled. And not a little pop-up. It probably does actually pop up in the text window, but maybe use uh, broadcast instead of print all, and that will come up on the top of the screen or something. Whatever. Christopher Lamine we've got, and rewards claimed. Bam. Okay, there we go. So no movement. <laughs> no movement. We've got four on our deck. Let's have a look at, uh, let's just search. You can search your discard pile at will. We've got one, two, three, four movement. Yeah, so we have no more movement in the deck except for the, the two move here. It's not too bad. What do we need? Five movement though. Oh, gee, it's, it's, it's pretty harsh. Wow, that wasn't too good. So now it is the dwarf's turn. Don't know what that's doing there. Uh, right, so his move is basically, basically we've got nothing going on here. So we have two choices. He can move to here without aggroing. He can move to here and actually heal, or he can attack this guy. Now this guy is an interesting one. For starters, it's a double one that you have to block with two. So maximum two wounds, which is a lot considering he's got three in his hand, but he's got elusive and he's got defender one. So defender one's like that little shield with the one value on the far, far right. What that means is, is that when he's fighting with other objects, other enemies, he adds that to the first enemy attacked, but it also adds to himself. So he's actually three elusive and two defended. Now, the way elusive works is that if you're going to range attack him, it's three in this case because of the defender. But it's also higher number if you fail to block. Like you have to do a you have to block all the incoming attacks to gain the smaller number. So what I'm getting at is he is three to kill, not two. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can do oh, we can't do anything right now. So this is really annoying. There is no green up here. So we're gonna go bam. That gives us six influence. And we're gonna go sideways for seven influence. So influence six, you may play this as your action for the turn. If you do, you get heal one for each two influence you spend, which is what we want. So we've done seven which means we get three heals, two, four, six. So all of these are discarded. That's a cool little thing. So, ah, look at that. <laughs> Needs a little bit more coding. So what he's doing, what he's done is, is if you place a face down, if you stack cards, it splits it. But as you see, if you stack three cards, it don't split it. Okay, whatever. The point is, they're all discarded. Good move. And we are currently in a mage tower. So we get to get a spell. What have we got here? Readying a unit. Eh. Influence. But if you use this during interaction, you then either gain a crystal of any color to your inventory or get a discount of three towards the unit. That's actually a pretty good spell. Or we could just go for a fire attack and fire block seven, which, you know, is awesome. Another thing to remember is, because uh, this is Dungeon Lords, right? Uh, if we go, go to the dungeons over here, they're always nighttime, okay? That means you can use nighttime spells during the day. So long story short, I'm gonna take 
What is this? One enemy does not attack in the attack phase. Gain attack. Ooh. You know, I'm going to take charm. Why not? You know, we get crystals if we if we buy stuff. And more importantly, we are able to stop dungeons attacking. And dungeons usually only have one attacker. So you basically cancel their attack phase. And it combos with our influence heal. So yeah, bammo. Uh, right. So that's that. Let's uh, end that turn and claim rewards. No green still. It is now Norwin's turn. He has a bunch of greens. He's got training. So let's see if there's anything. So there's a blue and two reds up here. It's got counter attack, which is a very, very cool card. Hmm. Now he is where is he anyway? Right, so this person is actually quite a deadly creature. So he's she has two attacks, five and three. He is at two defense at the moment, as you can see here, right? Two defense. And what that means is that is three three for five damage if they're unblocked. So, so if you don't block all her attacks, that's five incoming damage. And if you look, his current hand size is five. So that will actually knock the Mage Knight out, which means there'll be no opportunity to attack back. You just get knocked out during the damage phase. So it's actually quite a dangerous one to go against. We only need two to open up this location it might be best to open it up and then move one square and then we'll be within one range of that of the castle still and we'll still get six cards. So, what have we got here? Throw away an action card from your hand and then take a card of a different color from the advanced actions offer. Or we can put one straight into our hand. So let's have a look at the offer. Yeah, what have we got here? Well, we've got... Uh, Pure magic. This is a fantastic, very versatile card. The problem is, it's unless you've got cr good crystal generation, it is hard to use. So you actually have to pay a mana and pay a blue to get the bottom power. So it's actually very intense. This one here, though, is actually a very, very good card. Attack two. Attack is increased by two for each enemy you successfully block. So I'm actually going to claim that one. And I'm just going to play for the top one here. So we're going to discard. Do we want to buy a card? Uh, what dice do we have? There is a red. What's my reputation? One, zero. We can buy this guy. I'm going to buy this dude. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to discard this card. Well, not discard. It's actually throw away. So we're going to throw away uh, Rage to replace it with Counter-Attack. And Counter-Attack, it goes straight into our discard pile. Put it into your discard pile, which isn't too bad because there's probably only a couple of turns left. And then we're going to do five influence. So that means we go, we're on zero now. I better, I better uh, not move this because it might move automatically. I don't know. <laughs> so that's five influence minus one reputation. And we are going to take uh, the scout, bammo. Uh, and I think that is his turn. And I'm also going to do two and open up the explore. Yes, I know technically you're supposed to do the movement first, but you know, whatever. Ooh, look at this. This is a very nasty piece of work. So this one is uh, never sieged. It's always flying above the battlements, I guess, but it's got swift. So swift means you need to block double. 
So he's doing four damage, but we need to block eight to stop four damage. And remember, if we don't block successfully, we have to do the higher number for the armor value. So we have to block eight and attack back four, or we receive two damage and we attack back eight. So if we can't create eight damage or eight block, we're in trouble with this guy. Next turn, it might be best to move up to here and take out one of these little burrows. That's that. Let's uh, end turn, claim our rewards. And let me just check. Yes, so we need to go down one influence. Okay, it is now Wolfhawk's turn. Now, Wolfhawk is the one doing the best. It's got crystals and got a heal in hand. We've got some blocking and some movement. Okay, not a lot of good choices up here though. So what have you got to do? Ah, we have a dungeon. So what is our dungeon situation? We can produce a total of four attack, four, five, six attack or possible block. We don't need to move, so that can be uh, four, five, six, seven attack. We need, we'll need we need to keep the heal. Yeah, so it's actually pretty seven attack max. So let's say we block with that, that gives us four, five attack max. Five attack will not really cut it for a dungeon tile. So that means we're gonna have to take damage. Okay, let's do it. You know, I like to play risky. Where are you? Bammo! Monster drawn to the player board. What have we got here? Oh, seven attack. A uh, block, I mean. Oh, can we even make seven block? Four, five, six, seven. There's no red, so we need to mana surge it. Make one red. Take two red crystals. Populate that. So that's four, five, six, seven attack. So we've killed him. We can't block, so we take three wounds. One, two, three. And then we heal for two. And there we go. So that is dead. Uh, what I just do end turn, right? Boom, 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 boom. Everything's happening. Look at all that stuff going on. <laughs> so first we get the conquest reward and I am happy to say the conquest reward, let me save a channel here. What'll we'll make that seven I think we're up to. Boom, boom, we get an artifact. Well, we get to roll the artifact die. So that's your blammo. Oh, God, it doesn't really, really doesn't roll very well in this thing, does it? That's, oh, what happened to it? <laughs> it fell into the thing. Okay, so that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, so Tabletop Simulator, because it's like a physics engine, it does have one kind of problem. When you're rolling dice, the physics just work better when it's one to one. Oh no, what have I done here? I've deleted this card somehow. No, I haven't. I've uh, put it over here. Whatever, so if you're gonna have dice, they really need to roll one, one, one. The physics just works better. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's just hit the R button, boom. So we get a spell, that's really annoying. 
What have we got here? Chill. Yep, we're going to grab that one for sure. Claim. It's unlucky. I really wish I got an artifact. Uh, new skill token. So what have we got here? Oh, we definitely take this is I love this one. We're definitely taking this one. So Gabamo. So what this one does is it basically makes a sideways card count for four, and then you get plus one extra for every unit that you don't have activated or don't have a, a you know a unit in it. So for every every one like this that is a a command token with no unit, you get plus one. So at the moment, a single sideways card is five plus five. It is crazy powerful. And if that's not bad enough, everyone else has all their units reduced in power for the while it's in play. Incredibly cool card. Uh, and I also need an advanced action card. What have you got here? Ooh, Frostbridge. You know, I might take that because basically this reduces swamps and you can walk into lakes and stuff. And there's a lot of lakes and swamps around for some reason. So let's claim that. And that's that. Rewards claimed. Your blammo. Now, he's only got two cards left. So we're pretty close to ending this, ending this round. Okay, so it's Athea's turn again. She is here. So... She needs five, six, seven to get to this location. But you gotta remember, she is got no movement in her, she's got four cards in her deck and she's got no movement. She's already used March and Stamina twice. The other alternative, actually look at this, eight. Can we actually range attack that? What have you got? Three, six, seven, eight, range attack. What do we need to do to fight this thing? We need three, six. One, two. So it's three, four, five, six. Oh, damn it. It's just... Oh, we can use this thing here if we have a green. So that would be five, six, seven, eight. So we can go boom, boom for three movement. And go here. She should have a red crystal. She got a red crystal? A white crystal, big pardon? Yes, she does. Wait up. Wasn't she on there? Wasn't she on there from last turn? I think I forgot to give her a crystal. She should have two. I'll check my uh I'll, I'll check the, the the save in a sec. And I think we'll just hold there. She's got four cards in a deck. Let's end that turn. Bam. And draw. Okay, there's Mana Pool. We still need, God, Mana Pool's a great card. So we can actually do this one. So this can now get us, this can now get us uh, three range attack. Three, four, five. We need eight range attack there, don't we? That's actually perfect. Okay, excellent. Righto. Next is the Dwarf. So can he fight this monster? What has he got here? Charm. We don't want to use charm. Uh, okay, so all we want to do here is provoke this guy. Uh, wait, how do, how do we do this thing? Boom. We're going to provoke this guy. Now he is you know, behind a wall, which gives him sieged. So we have to block two and then attack back for three. This shouldn't be an issue. Uh, we've got we've got white. So we just need to block two. Okay, so this is block two. Uh, I think I might keep wings of wings. We're gonna block two. That's block two, that takes care of the first one. We do another two block, that takes care of the second attack. We have successfully blocked 
The reason why we're using block two is because we have to, we're, we're blocking at half power because that is a uh, ice attack. So that uh, successfully blocked, which means we now have to hit back for three and we're gonna go bam and bring in the white crystal, which is ranged attack three. We get plus one fame. Uh, this is just a crazily powerful. <laughs> we're back up to zero, boom. And that's the end of that turn, your blammo. Oh, we get another thing. And rewards claimed. And let's just make sure. Yeah, it did put it up. Excellent. Okay, next is Norwen, Norwingen, or whatever. So this is the this guy's actually really harsh. We need eight block or eight attack. And I don't think we've got either of them. We do have some moves. We've got five, six. So that would move us, that would move us to there. That would use our crystal. So that would be four to move us in range. We'd provoke. We could block with five. Six, seven, eight. I really should have bought someone with block. <laughs> so we can block and that's fine, but nope, that's no good. The other option is, can we attack back for eight? And that is also a negatory. We've got attack two, Three, four, five, six, seven. So we cannot do that at all. So instead, we're gonna go three move. So we'll still do the crystal move. That gets us to this location. We cannot, oh, this is four attack. Can we block five? Oh, this might be the way to do it. So we can go Block five. Ah, oh, then we go one, two, three. Oh, that wound is stopping us from doing that even. We would need to move into there, which is a four. Okay, so I'm gonna risk it and do an attack on this monster den. La blamo. What have you got for us? Oh! Hydra! Okay, so we have Block two, that gets rid of one. Let's just get the six attack out of the way. So that's three, four, five, six. So that is six attack. Block five. I uh, know. So I've got the white crystal here. So that means we take two runes. So we've blocked two. That gets rid of one of the attacks. We've got another two. So we get another two wounds. And that's that. End turn and level up. Boom. So basically. If you defeat the enemy, mark the space as conquered with your shield and get two random mana crystals as your reward. So let's just set these both to one. So they roll a bit better. Ugh. We get a black and a yellow. Ugh. Gold is choose a color. If black is rolled, you get plus one fame instead. So Norwell goes back up to zero fame and we get a color of our choice. I think we're gonna take a green 
And that's the end of his deck. And finally, we have Wolfhawk's turn. Wolfhawk is up here. So, what have we got here? Target does not attack this combat. If it has fire resistance, it loses the rest of the turn. What kind of attack have we got? We've got a total of discard another card. Oh, that's a terrible card, isn't it? So this would give us, oh wait, we've also got this. It gives us plus five. So basically, I can produce three, I can produce six attack. I can produce six attack straight off the bat. Plus I can stop the other person from attacking completely with uh, chill. Target does not attack this combat. If it has fire resistance, it loses it for the rest of the turn. Well, unless the actual monster has ice resistance. Plus I've also got this, which means I can get another four if I require it. So I think I am just going to attack again and get some more goodies. Boom. What have you got? Oh my god, Arcane Resistance. What is the goddamn chances? Oh, that is brutal. That is brutal. Uh, we're basically screwed. I can get five block from this. And I can get... four block plus one, so that's another five blocks. That's 10 block I've just produced, which means this has been blocked. So he's attacking for four, it's fire and ice. So it means we've got a block for eight to completely block it. We've completely blocked for eight. And that gives us, that gives us, uh, means we have to attack back for four. We have three attack here. Can we get another attack somehow? Oh, let me, let me think about this. Let me think about this. Hang on, hang on for a sec. Hang on for a sec. This gives us plus four. So that's actually five block right there. What's this thing give us? Nothing. So that's five block. We need another three block. There is no other way to do this. There is no other way to do this. We would need both of these guys. Oh, and this guy needs to discard. Yeah, it is. It is not good. Yep, so I'm going to do that. Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? <laughs> so that is five block plus another three block, giving us a total of eight block. So that's perfect. Oh, man. And you got only four to attack. And we can't even produce four attack. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, well. So we don't get any wounds though. The other option is we take two wounds and kill him. Give us four, which would take us up to here. That would gain us an extra unit token. Plus it would gain us extra, oh, here's the discard piles up here. Plus that would gain us, so that would give us two damage. We've already used our heal. Maybe we should just do that. Maybe we should just take the two damage. I'm going to take the two damage. Why not? One, two. Oh, then we've got to hit back for eight, don't we? We've got to hit back for eight if we do that. Can we produce eight? Oh, what are the chances? What are the chances of this guy being resistant to all magic? That's what that little star means. It means you can't use spells on him. That is bullshit. <laughs> I hate it. So we can produce five, six, seven, eight, attack. Actually, we can just do it like this. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take two wounds. That's from the four attack. And now we have to produce eight attack to take him out. We've got three attack with this being discarded plus five attack with this and this. So that is five, six, seven, eight. He is dead. End turn and level up, you blammo. I still think that was an all right thing to do because 
it just gets us extra leveling up. I didn't like the fact that we took wounds. I really thought that would be a free attack. We wouldn't have to, you know, I really thought that we'd just stop him from attacking using that spell and we'd be fine. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, you know what? It's basically the end of the round. So this guy here, he's got nothing in his deed deck. If you start your turn with an empty deed deck, you can declare end of round, and then everyone else gets one turn, right, from then. Play their turns, blah, 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 blah. If a player's deed deck is empty at the start of his turn, that player may announce the end of the round instead of playing his turn. If he does, each other player takes one last turn, and then the round ends. So, yeah, she gets two turns, basically. That's pretty good for her. Where is she? She is here. She can actually kill this person, right? She needs, what is it, eight, eight ranged attack. Does she have eight ranged attack? I think she does, right? Oh no! Minus one attack! <laughs> so this wolf Wolfhawks thing means that these guys, these monsters, do one left. So that's actually one attack now, not two attack, uh, ranged attack. So that would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can still do it. We can still do it but we need three movement to get in there. So we need three movement. We've got two cards in our D deck. So what if we don't use, what if we use this to move? What if we move like that? That gives us three movement. This card will then be gone, which means we will have five range attack, five, six, seven range attack, which is not enough. We need eight. There's definitely no more range attack in that deck, or is there? Let's have a look. Let's go search. No, there's the other range attack. So basically we've got the crystal generator and the five block or whatever it is, the two blue cards. Ah. So this would produce five ranged attack, five, six, seven range attack. There is a green. So what I would have to do, <laughs> this is what I've got to do basically. I've got to discard one of the best cards in the game, in the early game. You get one, two, three movement. And that'll get us into the right spot for next turn. We draw whatever two cards are remaining. Then we have, then we just have to hope someone doesn't take the green die. And then we can do five, six, seven. Uh, no, wait up, hang on. We can't do it. Five, one, two, three. That'll be five, six, seven. That'll be three, six, seven. Right, that's how we'd have to do it. So basically we've got to do this and hope someone doesn't take a red. That's uh, that's all uh, That's all we can do. So we've cr created three movement by discarding concentration, mana pool and threaten. Two very, very good cards in that. And that takes us to here. Okay, there's the crystal and the block. It's now uh, this guy's go. He's going to produce as much movement as he can. So he's going to go two. It gives him f four movement. I think that costs an extra movement to get into there now. So that's actually th four movement to get there. Uh, I better check that. Yeah, walls, to cross a wall on the map, you have to pay an extra move point. 
So that is actually five movement to get four movement to get in there because it's three normally. So that just gets us in. This gives us five move. Whoop, that's one of the red dice gone. We also have to discard a card. Okay, so we have produced, so he gets one more turn because he did not declare end of round. So we have produced four. I'm gonna produce four, five, six, seven, eight move. Oh, we don't have a white crystal. We don't have a white die anyway. So we're just gonna do this. We're producing four movement and that just takes us to this location. So what we're gonna do next turn, hopefully there'll be a white die and then we can produce as much move as we can and then use this to move really fast. So that's the end of turn. Reclaim rewards. This guy is declaring end of round, so he's going to call end of round. Wolfhawk is... We're going to go four, five, six, move. So we go explore. We have to place a dungeon tile. That's one, two. How much did we create? Six. Four, five, six. So we've created, what's that, five? Oh, wait, no, we've got this thing, don't we? You are able to move through lakes and the move cost of lakes and swamps is reduced to one. So we actually go, we've got four, five, six. So that's one, two to explore, five. And we're just gonna stop there on the village. We don't even have the rep to, oh wait, what's this? This token may be discarded during interaction to gain one fame or three influence. We are on a village space. Where's the villages up here? You can spend three rep to heal one. So we also are gonna spend three rep and heal one in turn. We claim rewards. Okay, so it's now Athea's turn again. Let's see if we can do this now. So what we need to do, we need to attack for eight. And I think we can. So we go Six with a discard. Oh, that, that's three. Range, three, six, seven, eight. So two from there, two, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we don't need to discard a card with this one, do we? There's nothing else we can do here. We do kill this guy. So let's end turn and level up. Boom. So let's get a skill token. We are definitely taking the healing token. I love that token. Like I said, I call it the blood witch. Uh, I also need to take an advanced action thing. What have we got here? Discard another action card. Depending on its color, you get five attack for red or whatever. And we can actually throw away cards and you can get massive amounts of attack and stuff. I love this card. I am taking it. Bam. And that is that. It is Yig's turn. He's got one more turn. He is going to produce as much as he can. So he basically wants, there's still no white mana, unfortunately. So he is just gonna produce 
five move. Ooh, we can use this, can't we? You may use one non-interactive skill belonging to another player, even if it's exhausted. Yeah, so we're gonna use this one here, right? So this one says, get move one for each ready and unwounded unit you control. Oh, you've got no actual units. Okay, so this says a non-interactive skill, right? So we can't actually use it on this amazing thing here because that is an interactive skill, okay? You can tell interactive skills because they're written down at the base. They've got that little... So this is the only one it can take, which doesn't work. So that doesn't help us at all. So back to square one, we have five, six, seven move. What can we do with seven move? Unfortunately, we can't get to here. We only need three move to get to there, right? An enemy with a vampiric ability has its armor value increased by one for the rest of the combat. For each unit it attacks and wounds, and for each wound it attack causes. Okay. So the vampiric ability basically means he gains armor for every wound he adds in. So this guy is four to attack, but if we get hit for two, it's actually six to attack. So we only need three movements. How much is it to kill this thing? Four to kill it. So that would attack three, four. We need the three movement. So that would be three movement, You've got to discard a card with this one. It's a terrible card. So that's three movements. And then we can only produce two. We can only produce three attack. And we need a total of five. Four attack. Five, four, five, six. Ugh. Okay, so back to the other, back to the other one. So that is five, six, seven move. Basically, the only place we can go is here. Okay, that's the end of that turn. Right, so that is it. That's the end of round. So if I go rewards claimed, it should reshuffle and do the next round. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Everything done. Athena needs to choose a tactic from the center. All oh, right, so we're back at the beginning of the next round. Okay, so that really didn't go as well as planned. There were some real uh, problems with uh, the way we played that. Oh, these are these are so vicious. These guys. Slow start. Okay, that is that, and I'll see you guys next time.